Hey guys, what's up? Pase Bola here. We are now in this last game for this March 24, 2022 NBA game day. We got Phoenix Suns having a record of 59 and 14, visiting Denver Nuggets displaying a record of 43 and 30. The game will be at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, Western Conference standings so that we'll have a closer look at these two teams. Starting with Phoenix Suns, man. They are at number one. We all know that. For the last 10 games, they have won eight. And approaching this game, man, they have won six games straight. That's crazy. Now, for Denver Nuggets, they are at number six um, in the Western Conference. Um, so they're holding on to that because Minnesota Timberwolves are right behind him. Uh, they got 43 wins. Minnesota have 42. So, yep, they need to have as many wins as possible. Anyway, going back, Denver Nuggets, they have, for the last 10 games, they have six wins. So they're actually doing good. Approaching this game, they're also coming off a win. I guess that was their win against the Los Angeles Clippers the other night. Okay, so in this game, Denver Nuggets would have the home court advantage. At the same time, Denver Nuggets would have the advantage in terms of fatigue because Denver, I mean, Phoenix Suns actually played last night against the Minnesota Timberwolves. In terms of momentum, though, um, as hot as Denver Nuggets are, man, Phoenix Suns, they are still, uh, you know, they're still hotter, quote unquote. They, they got more momentum right under their belt. All right, so let's take a look at the injury list for both teams. Looking at Phoenix Suns, we got Cam Johnson, Chris Paul, and Saric still out. Um, also, Kaminsky, I'm sorry about that. I lost that. So four players are out for Phoenix Suns. <clears throat> now for Denver. Yeah, same, you know, same culprits for Denver Nuggets. Uh, MPJ, Zeke, Jamal Murray, and uh, Kankar. So four players out for Denver Nuggets. And I'm looking at the spread now. It is actually, well, it, it, it started with minus 3.5 for Denver Nuggets. But it is now at minus 4 for the home team, Denver. All right, now here. I understand that Denver Nuggets, they are on a roll. You know, they have won six, six straight. I mean, not six straight. Six out of their last ten. They're coming off a win. Uh, they are well rested while Phoenix Suns, uh, they're coming off a, uh, a game last night against the uh, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. But um, I, plus four is just too much for me to say no, no to, especially if the plus four is given to the number one team overall. I mean, I'm talking about Phoenix Suns. They still have Booker. They still have Aiton. Uh, they have his boys around him. So um, it's, it's going to be very rare for you to see Phoenix Suns having a plus four unless... Uh, their stars are out, but in this case, nah. They're you know they are there. I know they're they're doing back to back, but I just still don't imagine uh, Denver Nuggets winning the game with a, you know with a huge lead. If ever indeed they would win the game, right? So I think Phoenix Suns will still be will still be able to keep it close. If you would also check on the records, Phoenix Suns they have a very good record even on back to back. If I'm not mistaken, they have won nine or eight times in back to back. So. Again, it, well, it is a factor. Fatigue is always a factor, man. No matter what, no matter what you say. But uh, I guess Phoenix Suns would have enough artillery and would have enough uh, would have enough talent to at least cover the spread of plus four. So my pick on this one would be Phoenix Suns plus four. Suns plus four. Peace out. Pass love. God bless.